Bro, you got you sort of whoa. <laughs> I don't need to hear the woes. I don't need to hear the theatrics. You got a major like comb over going here. No wonder it's so long. Let me check the back. It's kind of thin. But well, you do have some hair. So you know the hairs come from the back. Yeah, I know. And they put them all these little. So it would be like this area right here is what they'd have to fill up. <laughs> That's a big area to fill. Up. Should we do a consultation for right there? Oh, okay. oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. My hair completely yeah, sucks as well. My hair is a mess today. Yours is beautiful. It's, it's a mess luscious. Today. I would, so I'm cutting kind of for that hair. You like your, long, your hair is long. I just kind of cut so like this. Well, that's out of my face. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. All right. Ooh, yeah, we can definitely go. <laughs> Bro, you got, you sort of, whoa. <laughs> I don't need to hear the woes. I don't need to hear the theatrics. You got a major like comb over going here. No wonder it's so long. Let me check the back. It's kind of thin. Well, you do have some hair. So you know the hairs come from the back. Yeah, I know. And they put them all these little. So it would be like this area right here is what they'd have to fill up. <laughs> That's a big area to fill. Well, up. Fill me My up. area was uh, that. Yours is <laughs> not so much here, but here. Wow. But you do have some daughter hair, which is good. Perfect. Fish. They could. So you're telling me restore, I, I'm not a complete Restore can help you a little bit, but I mean, I, this thing, <laughs> this crown right here is going too. God damn it. I love the comb over though. You've really covered it up That's well. how he cuts you're it. Doing a good job. <laughs> he said it's only good four days a month. Four days yeah, a month? Four days yeah. a month. His hair is like... I get it cut on the 15th or so every month. <laughs> and for the, like the next three, four days, it'll be fine. Which is, I got it cut Wednesday. What's today? Friday? Yeah, yeah sure. I got it cut Wednesday. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And what, what is, why is it not good before that? Because it, once it grows like at all, I... I I can't have like, that kind. You will. Uh, you're gonna need some help there. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I, I'm earmarking next bonus season into <laughs> your guys. Yeah, they do a good job. Really much. Yeah, no, it's right. awesome. So I was like, so I was here for where you are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Big, big, big project. Big project. They got. I mean, if they get, if they, they can take Dave, it from your arms too. Better get put, David on a billboard. Room. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. The the before, oh, I'll about, pour myself out on a billboard. How about the before pictures? The guys are always like this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. After they're like, <laughs> they're, like always, they're, le they're leaning down. Oh, is like, that why you do your stone? Yeah. You have the stone face every picture you take. Is that why? Because you're mad about your hair. Well, I'm mad about many things. <laughs> Most hair being one of them. Yeah, yeah. I'm mad about man. my hair. Yeah, you look good. The hat, but you look like you have a lot of hair when you have a hat on. It's all that matters. Yeah. Sure. Fake till make it right? yeah. <laughs> every single day. It doesn't look bad though. How can I lie my way th through my teeth today to just get me to like when I go to bed at night? That's it, every yeah. day. I just quick little video with you. Yeah, what are we doing? I just want to pretend like I got restored. I was going to say, hey Brian, thanks for the rug. <laughs> thanks for the rug. And be like, yeah, looks good. Your shit is good. Hey Brian, thanks for the rug, man. You're welcome, man. You look really restored up here. It's really good. Did a good job with you. I love it. Thank you. You did a good job, did you? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. <laughs> I got a divot, though. I'll be right uh, there with you. Nice. You got one in the I back there. You got a little, yeah. it's called your crown. Yeah, I know. I figured that out. My crown was good. <laughs> I'm doing my best, Ron. Thank you. That was so fucking funny. Great yeah. job, guys. That was the guy from the bell yeah, awesome. right? <laughs> Yeah. You got the heat on again? Dude, I don't know how to work. Crank that thing off. Give it up. That's what you have to figure out. Try the AC button. Doing interviews in here. Yep. Hot box in an Arizona minivan. The White Sox players will love that. We may pivot. I'm working on that now. <laughs> we may pivot. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you do need to crank the window, so it's fucking hot. It's all the way, down. It's all the way down. There's no heat on, Dave. Chief, give him the hey, Dave. That's one of my sneaky favorite things that Chief does. You have the, like, not even just Dave, just like, hey, anyone. Can we get another one out to the camera? Hey Dave, like, <laughs> he has the dad, like he has the yeah, dad, hey, dad, yeah. hey, insert name, perfected. 
Yeah, we're yeah. approaching what we call the grace period, meaning I have about seven minutes before I shit my pants. Ideally, I want to take a shit before we get to Jim McMahon's house, but we'll see how it works out. I'll go anywhere, I don't care. I will go in Bank of America. Do you still have like a humiliation when you say, hey, I really gotta take a shit, I have a disease? It's a syndrome. I mean, I don't think anyone gets diagnosed with like IBS actually. <laughs> But yeah, like I, I don't shit a lot, but when I do, it's a fucking emergency most times. I mean, Eddie's like, I'll get you a bathroom, makes a right into a desert. He, we're not gonna find anything like, here. Like when he was saying that, we passed like a strip mall. Probably, but there was like all construction. There was no like easy oh, there way was. in. There wasn't an easy way in. There's a way in. Yeah, they yeah, probably have 14 no, no, options yeah, for yeah, Danny. Yeah, yeah. Right uh, I don't have a license. Guy's car is fucking beat to shit. <laughs> but everyone wants to shit on the driver though. Don't worry. I'll yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't want you to drive. Now. Is this trip goes for fucking whatever the price is, the fucking Let's double. focus on a bathroom. Through. We got about two insurance. minutes left in the shot clock. True. <laughs> oh, this is like one of the nicest golf courses. No, <laughs> it's a country club. Don't drop me off because then the questions are going to raise God, me. this is make or break. Once no, I the, go for it, I'm the, going The bathrooms it. in here are going to be... This Tiger Woods will take a Open shit this shit. Trying to Oops. stop him. He gave him, a, he gave him the thumb. <laughs> that was quick. Buzzer beater. In shame. I get there and there's a huge uh, like maid cart blocking the men's bathroom door. I'm like, does this mean I can't go in here right now? Hurtled right past it, poor woman. <sighs> Had to be in there for the whole thing. Now we're gonna be late for Jim McMahon because he was shit. Dude, the worst <laughs> time. Sorry, to the bike. Oh God. Oh this my God. Go. Why'd you stop? Go. go. Come on. Oh my goodness. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh my God. We're sorry. We're sorry. Fuck, they're It's on. the ASU cycling team. All right, they're on us. They're on our ass, go. <laughs> hey, lucky those aren't tall bikes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we are in the interview portion of the show. We're joined by uh, Bears Super Bowl quarterback Jim McMahon. The soaking is a real thing, though, right? The what? The soaking? Soaking. You never did a little soak, Jim? <laughs> no, I never heard, never heard <laughs> about the soaking. Never went for a soak. All right. Uh, <laughs> we're also going to definitely shit in Jim McMahon's house. So we're going to hurt her fucking goddamn clean shit pain. in that fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Open this shit. <laughs> I had to go do that hike, sorry. Man. Good, What's up, boys? What, what are you guys doing here? <laughs> Talking to you. Shit. Yeah. Just like coming and get, I saw you guys had Urlock or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, awesome. Jim McMahon today. Oh, yeah. Jim McMahon. Where's the Bears 85? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. The funky QB. The, the, the D kind of helped them out, though, right? He oh, wasn't so a real bad. Right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, I will say, when I heard the topic of this one, fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This has I'm never not, been used, this topic. Please, I'm, I'm not, not bullshitting you. I've been saving it for you for two years. Dude, he, no shit. I'm not. When he told me that, I was like, Dude, that's awesome. How has that not been taken before? Yeah, he's, been, well, he's been saving it now. And I gave it a lot of thought, too, so I hope you guys don't steal my fucking Dude, answers. Ed, Eddie's already on tilt, because yeah. it's like now it's go time, and he's been thinking about it for so long, he's no answers. What fired me up the most, it just reminds me of like going on a trip with the guys and like how fired up you are yeah. to get into it, like three days of fucking mayhem. For sure, for sure. Oh. I miss those days. I haven't <laughs> been on one since like 20 fucking 19, I feel like. Yeah. Because they all got canceled. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 That's true. I got so one. That's what I was at. Well, we'll talk about it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't ruin it. We can't ruin yeah. the surprise. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I'm burying my head in hoop. Yeah. I don't need the paparazzi. <laughs> right. Picks, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> you, you, you hoop eater, you. <laughs> Uh, you're, all gonna right. be, you're gonna be at Chez Paris. At the, at the <laughs> fun race. Give me all the fucking hoop. Yeah, yeah. The tightest hoop you've ever seen at those places, buddy. Uh, I think that was ten. I think we hit it. I think we hit it. Yeah. The hoop boys. Uh, <laughs> all right, world famous Mullet Arena. We're here supporting the Hawks. We want the Hawks to lose. We want the Oats to win. It's the Bedard off. Tank, 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 tank. Shout out to Biz for getting us in here. The man. But uh, yeah, we're here and for. And he had to uh, eat his food to get tickets. Yeah, exactly. We're here for Connor Bedard. So let's go, Yost. One, one biz impression for. One biz impression. What's up, guy? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> no fishnets. All his are hanging in the rafters, baby. All his are in the rafters. Disrespect. This should be all biz jerseys on there. At least a few. Observation. <laughs> the DJ, he's, playing, he's gotta be in his mid 30s, late 30s, and then on his laptop it says Iceman. And I have a big problem with that, because there's only one Iceman, and it's fucking Mr. Ice. Hell yeah. I thought he was gonna talk about Val Miller, big Top Gun guy, but he went with Mr. Ice instead. Mr. Ice, when it comes to hockey, 
Yeah, but I think Ice Man and Mr. Ice are different. If, if that said Mr. Ice, I'd fight him. Pico de Gallo on a hot dog. Is, what do you think? I, how is that different than? It's not that different than what we do in Chicago. You got tomato. You got some. Yeah, I mean it's our spin on some, it. Some We're green. Yeah. I'm gonna be respectful. But. Respect the culture. I, I didn't. I mean, she had a cannon. I didn't see that coming. It was a late reaction. Yeah, I'm White Sox name. He kept <laughs> All right. So now we are in. Stuffed in a Honda something. We're going to the White Sox game. Uh, talk to Lance Lynn, Giolito, and just see White Sox Dave and his spring. This is spring training for him, too. Is it irrational that uh, girl White Sox fans scare me? Don't say that on the internet. I'm intimidated. Like, it's not like, not like, ugh. I'm like, intimidated. Don't beat my ass. This is perfect. It's basically like Step Brothers right now. Yeah. Trevor, I was saying to Lance yeah. Lynn, like, we just look like the yeah. two assholes. <laughs> We're just going to start tearing farts. But I love this. Like, this is perfect I White Sox stuff. I knew you would like it. Yeah, it's like, I like, knew you would like it. Look at that fucking 22 inch LG right there. That's like there the Toshiba. That's been here since Ozzy was in town. Like, no doubt about it. That thing has not been changed out since Ozzy was calling the shots, making lineup cards. This is, this is the White Sox for me. I like that. He's such a weirdo. <laughs> oh no. That's so baseball, you only get MLB Network in here. All right, so we are now in the interview portion of the show. We are joined by Lance Lynn from the uh, White Sox Spring Training Broom Closet. We are joined by three time guests, Lucas Giolito. We're joined by Sox relief pitcher uh, Joe Kelly. Uh, are you like a woodsman? Like people like picture you? Like are you chopping? You know, tree logs? Like on your <laughs> like in the off season? Like I'm very curious well, about your life. Good. We're obviously a loud obnoxious miserable bunch of people and i'm like oh yeah, yeah i'm gonna roll down my window I'm like hey what up <laughs> fuck you joe <laughs> and i'm like all right see you later what happened with his dog dog shit first pitch <laughs> he's got nervous i got, man. Nervous. I got, <laughs> the got yips. nervous i got the yips can we grow a pick real quick yeah. appreciate you man you're welcome you guys have a good one yeah, giolito just throws me a zen bomb and i'm like Little woozy out here. Kind of walking to the Dodgers clubhouse. Fuck, dude. <laughs> Seeing ghosts. Giolito Zin bomb. I'm like, pretty fuck. You're wobbly, wobbly, bro. I know, dude. Arizona oh, Sun's really beating down. It is, dude. About to be seeing the Mirage, it's gonna be like the Looney Tunes, you know? About to see a fucking Roadrunner and a Coyote going at it. I this, I got a 7 a.m. flight. Ed threw in a dip with uh, Gio, and he's all, he can't drive it right now because he's too buzzed. <laughs> it's not for the boys, I guess. When was the last time you dipped, Ed? It's not a dip, it's a sin, dude. Uh, yeah, just. Oh, you need a bag, Eddie? Just gear suck. Off here. I understand, there's no Don't. fucking car. Oh, fuck, dude. I like pulled my split. Man, I, yeah. <laughs> I had a heart palpitation. Well, oh, apologize to me. To me? Yeah. Ed? For what? Apologize. I told you to for what? Apologize no. to me. What did I do? You too, Tom. Chief. Uh, apologize yeah. to me. You guys were all shitting on me. I didn't know we were going to get Swerve Sox Dave at the wheel again. I apologize. Again. Could be worse. That was, yeah, three swer that was three swerves in like 10 right. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> that was so many swerves, dude. That's why his car looks like a demolition derby. <laughs> <laughs> that has nothing to do with it. I still can't. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm looking at. Do you, I'm like, need, you I'm, can't you, see, so you decide to go in blind? <laughs> yeah, like, no, I have been looking. It's like, do we need a fucking LASIK sponsorship? What are we yeah. doing? I'm not saying. I, when good. we were next to those motorcyclists, I said the Our Father two times. <laughs> I thought he was gonna pull the Ron Burgundy burrito out the window. <laughs> and so fun when the rabbit got the gun. NSU oh, cycling team. And he did park so long in front of the cyclist team. I thought they were about to pull the kickstand out. So he's got you on that. He, Waiting for my apologies. Dude, we're praying, <laughs> all right? Give us a sec. This guy is fucking demolition derby. Chief doesn't have a license. <laughs> Woo -hoo, remember when you put it in park? PSU <laughs> cycling? Good times. On the road. I'm having a good time. On the road and on the side of the road. <laughs> blinker optional. No, it's blinker optional. I, this isn't. <laughs> I don't think he's using a blinker the whole time. Though, right? This isn't a Tom. Like, How did they not, not know him. I was coming? I, I didn't put my blinker on. You know why? It's because Tom's there. That's not to say Tom shouldn't be there, but it's I can't see out that fucking window. He's to the left twice. <laughs> I didn't. So it was always left? it was always going to the right. Uh, it was both sides, man. That was, that was scary. Maybe the keys left on Navajo. <laughs> I think that's Navajo. It's like riding the dry and drop. Everyone's got to everyone's got to everyone's to punch the ground because they feel like they just survived. Made it. Survivors of White Sox Dave driving on the Arizona highway. He's 
in a Tesla. Mm -hmm. Eddie can't drive. I don't know. Eddie can't park. Can't park. He turned in so wide here. Like, why? Like, he could have got in. And then, once he's saying, like, he was defeated, and he wasn't even defeated yet, because I would have whipped that bitch in there. Once he's seen a little, a little adversity hit, he peeled off and went around the corner. I found out something about it. You should take up both spots. Spider. Right, so I got you. Show him how it's done. Yeah, you gotta reverse it. Parallel park. What y'all thought this was? I parallel park. What do you yeah. think? What do you think Eddie's gonna say about you taking his, about his spot? This guy, he don't even work for Barstool. Parking in Barstool. Fuck that. It's his fault. You gonna get on the movie? <laughs> you gonna put you on the movie? Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe he did that. And he said he was retweeted. He's supposed to finish that. He he paralleled the joint this way. Got a little too tight here. Skirt. He backed it up. But he should have went this way. Curved, then went back. He went on the angle. Tried to reverse it again. Skirt. And then just took off and drove away. Let life defeat him. No, Eddie. No, Eddie. Come on, baby. We more sturdier than that, Eddie. You feel me? had a, a huge win yesterday. They came back, they were down like 23 points and everyone is crediting it to uh, Pat Bev's speech in the locker room at halftime. Haven't really asked insider stuff, kind of curious to see how it goes, but as long as he's waiting, let's test the waters. Hey Pat, if you don't mind me asking, there was a lot of talk that you uh, addressed the locker room yesterday at halftime and a lot of the win is credited to you. Can we ask what you said? Subscribe. Subscribe to the Pat Bev Pod. That got the boys going at halftime. Subscribe. Thank you, Pat. Yeah, that's kind of thought. Of, that's kind of how I thought it would go. It's better than nothing. We try. Contact solutions. Some bottle of Long Island iced tea. Contacts. Yeah, you're wild wild on this one. Wait, wait. Theragun. Who's Theragun is that? Fine. Why, why did you grab your glutes when you said that? <laughs> but yeah, Eddie. He didn't want to face you. He didn't. He didn't want to. He don't want to face the music of him not parallel parking. So he hasn't been back? No, he hasn't came back. He's been parallel parking since. No, no, you think he knows? That you keep roasting him? No, no, no. No. You think he knows that that video was up? You think he saw it on his phone already? Right? Yeah, I think so. He's probably already seen that video. Yeah, he probably, probably did tell him. We're husky, can't parallel park. Wow. Uh, Oh, and he does the too small. Well, I got out of the car to yell at a guy for parking our spot again. Pat Bev too, did too. I don't think that guy will ever park there again. Oh, really? And then when I came up, he started bad-mouthing you about your parallel park job. The minivan guy? Yeah. This is how he finished parking, though. Oh. Oh. In between both spots. Pat Bev, I mean, two spots. Number one, the parking gate, the park off. I didn't care about the Husky comment, whatever. But when you talk about parking, listen, I, you know I went to Kedzie and Monroe for your gym shirt. If you think I can't park, that's that, that's that's fighting words, to be honest with you. So uh, we're just going to have to have a park off and settle it, I guess. We'll, we'll get past this. I, I'm confident we'll get past this, but... You call my parking. Yeah, that's a little guy. I don't think he needs that extra leg room for having the just get a sedan rolls. He's kind of a little guy. He's a little guy. Yeah, he's a he's little small. Yeah, he's so he doesn't need that leg room. So just get a sedan and park in one spot like a normal guy. Because he's a normal guy. This fucking escalated quickly. No, I didn't say that. I just <laughs> said. Yeah, Dave's a little guy. Well, no, I wouldn't say I'm little. <laughs> I'm thick with three like C's. Said, Listen, like I said, husky, whatever. I'll let the but parking. Listen, I, I, I'll fucking parallel park your face off and I won't even use one of those bully bumpers. So anytime you want, Pat, I'm here. Hey, honestly, Sox fans are so happy. Oh, I got kicked out. I got kicked out. We kicked you out? Yeah. They said it's not available. Hey, wait, it's No, he kicked me out. Why that thing kicked me out of his face? I'm 
He's not gonna answer. Call one more time. I, I that's don't. Like, that's don't. like emergency. Oh, no! ignored. I got panned and double ignored from my tax day FaceTime. I'll be honest, that ruined my opening day. That ruined my opening day. I love White Sox Dave and, and how much he loves fucking baseball. <laughs> him double tapping, ignore it. Ruined my opening day. He was, I saw him earlier. He was at home sitting in a beanie watching the socks. <laughs> I was with some girl who knew him and he answered her. But he didn't answer me. And then he banned me from his spaces. White Sox Dave literally banned Eddie from his uh, White Sox. Banned me, dude. I, That's like banning Eddie from watching Red Zone. He looks forward to those every... I know I, know I was in a bar, but he didn't... I mean, he did know that, but... Did you raise your hand, or did you just rogue ban I, I was just listening. I didn't raise my hand at all. I didn't try to speak. I just want to listen to Dave talk about the White Sox. On opening day, March 30, 2023, and he fucking... Nope, not, not happening. Why did I get banned? I was like, it's a, it's a dedicated fan. That's disappointing. He said, no Cubs fans, no trolls. You fit both. <laughs> Imagine trying to have a White Sox post-game Twitter spaces while you work at Barstool <laughs> and saying no trolls. So that he, he, he basically knows every person in there individually. I, love that. Yep, I was at 109 with you. <laughs> Corbin Carey that one Saturday. I bet he knows everyone in there personally. That's the beauty of White Sox Twitter. I love, I love Dave, man. He's so funny. Bryce Stewart would be like, why is he FaceTiming me at 11 p.m. at opening day? And he's probably just so mad. I love him, man. He's so fucking funny. People think I'm like, I want to fucking have it out for him. I really don't, dude. He makes me laugh harder than almost anyone. It's company, dude. He's so fucking funny. Because <laughs> I always see him and I always smile. And I'll be like, you're up to no good. You're up to no good. You just saw me and you smiled. And I'm just like, dude, some of I just can't help but laugh when I see you. Because you're so fucking funny. Some people aren't in on the White Sox Dave joke, and I feel bad for them. <laughs> once, once you're in on the joke, you fucking do. He's literally the funniest person ever, dude. Like, the other night, I was sitting there sleeping. It was like 1 in the morning, and I just rolled over, and I I, I saw the video of him with the fucking flap rim. with the video of him making a Bulls promo, and he just had no idea why it was, why it was a big deal. <laughs> he thinks I go too hard on him, but I love him, dude. He's so funny. <laughs> he answered, Hey, what are you doing? I'm in bed. What's up? <laughs> Why are you in bed? Dude, we're supposed to be recording a snake draft. <laughs> we're supposed to be a snake draft in eight hours. Do wake up. Hey, hold on. Wait, hold on. Hey, congrats on a White Sox win. Is that all you gotta say? No, why'd you ban me though, for real? You were up to no good, so I I, I took care of the problem. <laughs> how, 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 how was your night? That's a big win. What's Danny doing behind the camera? <laughs> I can hear someone behind the camera. <laughs> You're sleeping? Yeah. What are you making for breakfast? Bacon and eggs. All right. Burrito or no? All right, Dave. Thanks for answering, though, dude. I appreciate that. All right. Good night, Edward. All right. Later, Danny, you little fuck. <laughs> He's just behind a dark, pitch black wall. That's so fucking funny, dude. Oh. <laughs> He's unbelievable, dude. That guy. That <laughs> He's got to let it out sometimes. <laughs> It's so mad. It's so mad. And we're not doing this. It's not a big deal. This is incredible, dude. Oh my god.